one minute away from the Starship launch. There's a possible hold at T40. Here's the possible T40 hold. It looks like we may have continued. We're going. All right, it's a go. 10, 9, 8, And lift off. Can't see it. <laughs> Can't see it because of all the steam. There it goes. Starship flight test three lift off. Wow, that's interesting looking at the bottom. It looks like from this angle that they blew a giant cigarette into the sky. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean that. Uh, that's yeah. Looks like LEDs on the bottom. Live view from Starship on my screen. It seemed to be on quite an angle, or was that just? They're doing a sharp ascent because they want to go to the Indian Ocean. Wow! Look at that trail. Let me turn the volume up. Let me turn this up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Yeah. They do need to get good call outs. Our trajectory looking nominal, system looking nominal. Just amazing to see all 33 lit up once again. At this point, we've already passed through max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure. Yeah, that does look right. Supersonic, so we're now moving faster than the speed of sound. I've got the live feed from Starship on my screen. It just switched. Now it's up there. There's a little bit of a stream delay between both of these. I'm shaking so hard right now. Uh, the flight to space should take about six, seven minutes. Uh, I believe it's going to be about an hour before they actually land. It happens. Getting ready for hot stage. Start to shut down. You'll see all but three lights go out in the middle. These are the best videos from Starship I think we've ever had. Start carrying the ship into space. Booster will start to do its flip and then move in on the boost back burn, setting it up. Four metro splash down. Stage separation. Hot stage. Successful hot stage. Yep. Just had a successful hot stage. Boost back burn has started. Yeah, they came. Yeah. Boost back burn. Okay, we got a starship on its way to space and a booster on the way back to the Gulf. Oh, man. Uh, I need a moment to pick my jaw up from the floor because these. Spinning violently, though. Yep. That was the plan. Informing us that the second stage or the ship, everything looking good, nominal there. First stage is currently performing the boost back burn, expecting that to last about one minute. That boost back burn, nominal. Uh, that boost back burn propels the booster back towards the coast, taking it to a landing in the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, boost back uh, shut down. Using the super heavy boosters, thirteen center engines from here on out. Uh, as whenever they. 
they read light, you'll be able to see that in the left bottom corner. Uh, those are the ones that can gimbal. In other words, they move and change direction uh, in order to change the thrust and to steer the first stage back to Earth. So that they're changing direction. Wow, these are just incredible views coming to us. Everything is looking good for both the first stage on the left hand side of your screen or the super heavy booster, as well as on the right hand side of your screen, and that is Starship, or we also refer to that as the ship. As well as on the right hand side of your screen, that is. The pushback burn uh, was the first of two burns required to return it to Earth. The next one will be the landing burn, where all 13 center engines will initially ignite and then transition into a three-engine burn uh, to help slow it down. Uh, just as a reminder of the stage one test objectives, uh, we're looking for control ascent, which we have so far, uh, stage separation, which gorgeous. Starship is still burn, going well. Uh, as well as Both vehicles, nominal trajectory. We should have an entry burn. Grid fins have just deployed, and they're working. No, it's a test flight. Yeah. Oh, there is no entry burn. It's just... All right, landing burn startup. The booster might have just experienced a rapid unscheduled disassembly. I don't know yet. Engine cut off. There's a nominal orbit. Right. 
We did it. We're in an orbit. Okay, the blue the booster blew up. Yeah, it blew up over the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll be collecting information from that booster that they've been streaming downstreaming, and they'll figure out how to make it better next time. Um, well, it should have ignited for the landing burn. It should have ignited for the landing burn. Yeah, which it did. So they got that. The cargo door is opening right now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They are currently testing the fins. We're about four minutes away from re-entry. Starship's ability to fly uh, and land at subsonic speeds. You might recall those several little flights from a few years ago. And we can see those flaps there. So getting data on aspects like heating and control while traveling way faster than we did before, it's going to be critical to eventually bringing Starships back from space for rapid reefs. So I mentioned those flaps, that's one of the things um, that, that enables Starship to help control itself and, and, and survive the heat of reentry, which like we said before, we're expecting that reentry to occur around T plus 49 minutes. Uh, so we're, uh, we're getting pretty close here. And what you're seeing here, it looks like the vehicle is sort of moving back and forth. Part of what you're also seeing is one of the cameras, this onboard view that we have, is on the end of a flap. Starship has front flaps and, and rear flaps in the vehicle. Um, so we've got four of those, and oh man, we can see the heating on those flaps as we're starting to react All right. to the Earth's atmosphere. This is you can where start the to see the plasma. The There's the plasma. Okay, re-entry. 
We have plasma. Yeah, that's the heat. Currently re-entering the atmosphere. Even though we were on a nearly orbital trajectory, so the heating and the load. Yep, five times the speed of sound. I can't see it well up there. Those those fins are to steer. The kind of they're like wings. Why is it not focusing? Come on, focus. The heat shield tiles doing their work. We talked about it earlier. Uh, up to 2,600 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Dissipating as we are re entering. Yeah, now this was one of the critical, or, or rather, there the key uh, mission objectives that we were hoping to hit today. Uh, we have never, yeah. like I said before, this is the fastest and furthest the Starship has ever flown. So this is the first time that we're getting to collect this re-entry data and understand how these 18,000 hexagonal heat shield tiles The Starlinks that are on board are doing a good job of keeping us connected because usually we're not um, able to see this again, view. The, the atmosphere is doing us a big favor here by... The atmosphere is actually doing us a huge favor here by acting as a braking system for Starship um, as it re-enters the huh? atmosphere. And that's part of the reason why the flaps are so important. Well, you see, there's carbon building up on the camera. Drag from the atmosphere to slow us down from orbital speed. But you want the vehicle to remain stable. You want those heat shield tiles pointed down. All right, we've um, lost so the signal. The of the Earth's atmosphere. Um, and so that's the purpose that they are serving during the hypersonic phase and then again during the subsonic phase. Absolutely. All right, signal's back. itself as that plasma builds it we're hoping that we can bring these views back to you uh but you can see the telemetry there on the right hand side of your screen yes, uh, if you watch closely you can see the speed decelerating again that's the friction um of the atmosphere resulting in this plasma field or excuse me blanket um that is uh potentially blocking the, the sterling tunnels right now so we'll bring those views back to you if we get them but right now for those of you that have recently joined uh, yep. Hi all, I'm currently editing the video right now and um, I didn't mention at the end there but because I cut the video down a little bit but um, Starship did blow up. It, uh, d it disintegrated on re-entry. So uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.